Hey guys, I'm back. <gasps> He's back? And it didn't take three weeks? Yeah, I know, right? Isn't that crazy? But anyway, how y'all been? I know it's only been like, what, a few days? Probably just like about a day and a half since I posted my last video. So, yeah, I'm going to try to be more consistent, but I'm not promising anything so if you're not familiar with this series so far this series is my friend nami rubber bands or killer kill 360 asked me to do a what if with him in the high school dxd verse now if you want to look at more or the previous parts the link will be in the description down below so yeah with that all that being said Let's get into the video. So, Issei, he's carrying Ryuji as he's rushing towards where he is in the pier to Raja, right? Which, you know, they're still in the school. But Issei, you know, he uses, like, a, uh, he, you know, hopping on this bike, having Ryuji over, like, one shoulder. He's just, you know, cycling as fast as he can until he gets there. So, you know, he gets to the pier to Raja area. He's, like banging on the door maliciously like you know shouting like telling Riz to like please like open the, the door so you know she does open up the door as she sees both Ryuji knocked out cold Issei on the verge of passing out himself as you know she's like you know oh my god well she she can't really say that but you know she's like oh no like what happened and so Issei explains how you know you know they were you know chilling at this uh diner with the uh bishop girl the other uh today from like the other night and when we were leaving rainer showed up and uh well let's just say that uh well she knocked out my friend and took Ozia with her so we have to do something and so she's like okay okay slow down okay first let's deal with Ryuji. So, yeah. They, like, pick him up, you know, place him down on the ground. And so they start, like, like trying to heal his body and stuff. Or at least accelerate the healing process that it will take. And so, as they are doing that, Issei is like, so, are we going to go help her? We can't just leave her there. As we is just like, look, I get it. You're, like, cool with her and all. But she's not a part of our cause. Like, sure, she's she seems nice, but we literally don't know her. You're going this all out for a girl you don't know. Didn't you learn that the first time with Rainer? And so, yeah. They're, like, going back and forth and all that junk. And so, Rhea, she's like, you know what? You know what? Just We'll just end the conversation here. We got to make sure Ryuji's okay. So, you know, Issei, he is a little saddened, but, you know, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to time skip to a little bit later on. As, uh, you know, Ryuji, he's uh, wrapped up in, like, bandages. As his sword is, like, laying against the uh, wall. As he's, like, still, like, sleeping. And so, Issei, you know, he just says, you know, take care, buddy. Get all the strength that you need. As he leaves. And when he leaves, he's um making his way towards the area that, uh well, Rainer said that she was going to be at, at the church, essentially. And so, with Issei walking there, Kiba... And Konako try to, or like, in his way. And he's like, don't try to talk me out of this. I've already made up my mind. And so like, oh no. We're not here to talk you out of it. We're here to help you. He's like, what? He's like, yeah. Hey, any friend of you and Ryuji is a friend of ours. So, you know, he's like, he's like thank you. As well. All three of them make their way to the, uh, to the church. And as they're getting there, you know, two fallen angels appear. 
you know, one of them is a, is a tall chick, you know, she's wearing like a suit jacket with like, uh, I guess a skirt underneath it with like, you know, like long blue hair and all that junk. And the other one is just like a little like low lady of fashion type girl. As you know, she's just talking like hot shit. Like, ah, you're here for the, uh, for the, for, for the nun girl, aren't you? He's like, well, it's too bad. No one's getting past Rainer now. As you know, she's like laughing. You know, she's just talking hot shit. And so, Konako, Kiba, you know, they just tell Issa to go on as they'll handle these two. And so, as that is happening, you know, uh, he said, you know, he nodded, he like rushing towards the, uh, towards the church. And as he's rushing there, he's like looking around, looking for like Ozzy and stuff. And with him looking around, it's a guy he wasn't exactly expecting to see. It's, uh, Freed again. And he's like, ah, came back for round two, huh, you filthy devil. And this time... Rias isn't here to save you. As he say at this point is just tired of his shit. As you know, he is a little pissed as his arm does like slightly morph a bit more into like the uh, gauntlet piece. It's not all the way up to his forearm, but it's right where his uh it's a bit past his wrist. So yeah. So Issei and Freed are fighting each other as Freed is surprised by how much Issei has grown since their last encounter like Issei grew a lot as you know, he's just wondering like where did this boy get all this strength from and so as they're like fighting Freed does get the upper hand and like you know stabs Issei's hand to the wall and when Issei tried to grab it it started like burning his hand as you know Freed is like that's not going to work. These blades have been particularly blessed. I Meaning it's extra effective against a heathen like you. As he says, he's like holding his hand in pain. As you know, he's trying to like pull it out. But every time he tries to do it, the pain just becomes excruciating. So, yeah. Free, he takes out two more blades as he's like walking towards he says He's about to like at least do something or at least he thought he was going to until uh he gets a freaking suitcase no a bookcase thrown at him from like across the room i mean he does dodge out of the way but he's like wondering like hey yo who, who, who the fuck do that as he, she's like me as he looks and he sees like conical small ass he's like what the another one what are you doing here as she's like better yet why are you here and on top of that, you're hurting my friend. And I don't really like that. And so, Konako is now, like, putting the paws on Freed. Or well, at least kind of. Like, it's way more harder for him to try to fight Konako than it is for him trying to fight Issei. And so, as that fight is going on, we go on time skip to, uh, to uh, Rhea's perspective. As, you know, she's just... As of right now, just monitoring Ryuji's health. And she's noticing how, like, he just, like, is kind of slightly in a coma. Like, slightly. As, uh, Ryuji, he's in, like, a deep trance. As he's reliving a certain moment in his head. As all he just sees is, well, his mother... And his father, essentially protecting him, I guess, is that the word they want to use. And so, his father is, like, fighting off these, uh, these, uh, demons that were, like, at their house. As the mother, she's also fighting them. As they're, like, going back and forth. And this is, like, an old memory that he had. Like, Ryuji could be, like, seven at this point so as they're like fighting you know a certain like angel appears 
as he can tell, like, it wasn't like what he would think an angel would look like. This angel had like pale skin and had like 10 wings. As the last thing he sees is just this being essentially slaughter his parents. And as he's like thinking that in his head, that same memory keeps getting replayed in his head over and over and over again. And as that is happening, the entire like um room that they're in starts getting cold, like very, very cold quickly as the room just goes from being like room temperature to like now going to like freezing temperatures as Rhea's. You know, she's, like, calling Akino over as she's, like, trying to do something to, like, help him. Because, well, his powers are activating while he's unconscious. And so, with the, you know, Akino, she, like, essentially puts her hand on Ryuji's chest and on top of his head. As she's, like, I'm sorry for what I gotta do to this. As she starts, like, um... Starts using her lightning to send signals to Ryuji's body. Trying to like, I guess, wake him up. As with that's happening, Rhea, she puts like a few magic seals on Ryuji's like arms and legs. So that, you know, when he does eventually get back up, he doesn't like get up, start swinging. And so, yeah. Akino, she's like. Does it a few more times until, you know, Ryuji's eyes just snap open. As his eyes are now, like, a deep, deep royal blue color with, like, a dragon slit eye in them. As when he, like, calms down a bit, his eyes go back to normal. As, you know, Akino, you know, she, like, you know, putting her on, like, around her, like, are you alright? Like, are you Okay. As, you know, he's breathing heavy, like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Um, where is Issei? As, you know, the room kind of goes quiet for a bit, as, you know, Rhea's just sighs, like, he went after Asia. As, Ryuji's eyes kind of, like, snap him, like, wait, he went by himself? As, she's like, no, but... Kiba and Koniko went with them. But hey, it's not too late. Maybe you could meet them there before, you know, anything too bad happens. As you know, Ryoji, you know, he's looking at his hand. As he notices that it's slightly, like, it has a slightly have like a blue tint to his arm, or at least to his skin in general. As he sees that his fingernails have a bit of a claw shape to them. As you know, he just shakes off the feelings he tells Rhea that, yeah, I'm I'm going. I'm going to help him out. And she's like, good. I'm glad we know that we're all going. So, you know, Akino, she helps him up. As she just, like, tosses him his sword and he just, like, catches it. And when he catches it, his, the sword starts, like, glowing again. As, you know, it starts glowing like a blue color. As, you know, Rhea's like, when we get back, we're going to need to discuss that. Because your sword has been glowing, like, the same type of energy as as it was previously. But it never really stopped glowing energy. So, Mario, you know, he nods as him, Akino, and Rhea, they all, like, lead towards where Issei, Konako, and Kiba are at. So, time skip, right? Issei and uh, Konako, they do the final nail in the coffin as they just uh, knock out Freed, essentially. Or at least Konako land the final blow. As you know, Issei, he is making his way towards the room as he sees, uh, he just kicks the door open, essentially. As he sees a uh, Reiner, you know, still missing, you know, one wing and everything. As, um, how do I explain it? Azia, she's essentially on 
a crucifix, essentially. Like, yeah, like she's like on it. And so, Issei, you know, he's like, like, what was going on here? As you know, when she sees um, Raina, he just like, you know, trying to like tell her, like, get her off of it. And she's like, nah, the process is almost complete. And so, Issei, you know, not trying to like let that happen, right? As he's like trying to fight Rainer. And with them going back and forth, you know, they do exchange a few blows. Issei, he lands a knee, she lands a punch, he elbows her, she kicks him in the chest. Like, they're just kind of like seemingly going back and forth. As she knows how Issei's like magical potential has grew up even more. Like, to the point to where that she has to, like, block his blows because his punches are actually starting to hurt her now. And so, as that's, like, going on, we cut to, like, Rias, Akino, Ryuji, you know, they're walking towards the, you know, towards the area. As they see the same uh, fallen angels as before. You know, they're a bit better and bruised, but due to, uh, well, essentially, Kiba and Konako trying to fight them. And it's still like, we might have slipped up in the first time, but we're not slipping up again. As she's emitting, like, a lot of magical energy, which does surprise Ryuji a bit. As Rhea, she is just, at this point, she's just done, done, done with it. She's just done with it. As she just looks at her and the uh, angel, like both of them, like she just looks at the like the little girl and like the, the other girl or the other woman. And she's like, I had enough of this. As she just just starts emitting a whole bunch of like magical energy. As Akino is like, ooh, looks like you made her mad. As uh, both the girls' eyes widen. As a uh, essentially Rias, Rias essentially just rips her soul out. Well, not really rip it out. She more or less destroyed their souls due to her destruction magic, killing them both. As a uh, as that's going on, she just tells uh, Ryuji that hopefully you can take it from here. As Ryuji, you know, he nods as he's like rushing into the uh, the uh, church. And as he's making his way there, he's looking at, you know, Konako, Kiva. They're breathing a bit heavy from fighting two fallen angels and trying to fight Freed, who is by no means a slouch. He's just a very difficult opponent in general. As, you know, he, Ryuji asks uh, them, where is Issei? As they, like, point to, like, up, as he's, like, up, up, up the floor. As Ryuji, you know, he's, like running up the steps trying to get there as quickly as possible so as that is going on Issei manages to land like a mean uppercut on a Reiner causing him to like spit out a tooth as she just looks at a looks at her and like lands like another punch to her stomach which again makes her like spit up a bit of blood but she just looks at Issei Grabs him by his neck and like slams him too to the ground, like almost collapsing the floor. And she's like, It's one thing to get hit by that, but this, this, I won't stand by it. As with her holding him down, freaking Rainer just makes a light hammer. And she's essentially about to just, like, land, like, a mean hammer strike to his face as he's, like, pinned down to the ground. As she's, like, say goodbye as she, like, goes for, like, a hammer swing. And right when that happens, you know, Ryuji just comes out of nowhere and just lands a freaking drop kick to her face. Like, sending her back. Like, through the uh, pews as she, like, hits against the... Against the uh, piano. And she's like, what the hell? 
As she looks, as she sees a uh, Ryuji just standing there looking all smug with his sword in his hand. As he says, hey, Reiner, did you miss me? As he's just like smiling, twirling his sword. As Isis like, you bastard. Could have gotten here a bit sooner. And he just helps him up. He's like, looks like I made it in the nick of time. He's like, a couple of minutes ago when it had been so bad either. He's like, hey, what are you going to do? As uh, they are both in a fighting position. As they, you know, Ryuji, he points his sword towards her. Issei, he is a, like mad now. And so, as they're like fighting, going back and forth, like a green energy starts like emitting everywhere. As she's like, finally, it's done. As the ring essentially just drains Asia out of all of her like all of her like magical uh twilight healing energy essentially taking out her uh her booster gear and when that happened well Asia she just kind of like kind of just dies As not gonna lie, when that happened, something just like awakened inside of both Ryuji and in Issei. As you know, essentially, you know, their, their, their friend just died, someone that was close to them. As Issei is just glowing with intense red energy. As his eyes is like glowing green. Freaking Ryuji, his body just bursts a blue aura. As his eyes are like glowing blue. As they're just looking at her. Like they just about to kill her, essentially. As when Ryuji, when he's holding his sword, he essentially shoots out like a... Like a beam of ice towards her direction. Which, you know, she does jump out of the way. As she's like, puts on the uh, the ring. As the missing wing that was like on her back gets healed. All the injuries she has had up to this point from Rai Uji and Issei has been healed now. As you know, they both just kind of like tell her in the most brutal way possible. We're going to kill you. Like in so many different ways. And so. Issei. Ryuji. They essentially like blitz towards her. Which you know. She wasn't expecting them to move at such speeds. But she does manage to like block both of their attacks. As she just creates a spear of, of light. As she's essentially just. Essentially just telling them to like bring it on. As they both just like rush towards her you know she does manage to parry a few of their strikes but Issei just lands like a brutal punch to her stomach which she did feel that as you know Ryuji he jumps off of Issei's shoulders as he just kicks her in the face sending her back a bit as she can't even get a a chance to rest as they just on it on it Anytime Issei would land a blow, Ryuji would land somewhere else, and they'll just kind of like switch back and forth between that. And with them going like this, they're emitting so much like demonic energy that it could be felt from outside of the church. Like that's how much energy they're radiating, that even Rias can like feel it from outside. As you know, this just makes her and Akano. Shocked, but impressed at the same time. Because it's like, these guys had awakened their powers not too long ago. And yet, they're already this strong. And so, as they're fighting her, you know, Ryuji, he lands a, like, a mean, like, cut across her body. But due to the twilight healing, it, like, healed right as it got cut. And so, we're just like, well, if you're just going to keep regenerating, I'm just going to keep cutting until you can't regenerate anymore. 
And so Issei and Ryu Uji, they're like going back and forth. And they're just essentially of the strategy of, okay, if us hitting you at this strength ain't working, then we'll just keep hitting harder and harder and harder until it does something. Like that's how mad they are. So with them fighting, freaking Ryu Uji like stabs her in the chest as Issei just with his dragon claw of an arm, because it's like fully clawed out now. He like punches at the handle of the blade, making it go in deeper. As Issei unknowingly, it's like boosting. Like he, he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. And so as that is like happening, she like feels his blows now. Like really, really feeling them now. Because he's unconsciously boosting without realizing it. As Ryuji, when he's cutting her, this blade gets like so cold that it starts freezing molecules in the air as he's swinging it. And so, with that's going on, Issei, he manages to charge up unknowingly. Un just an unprecedented amount of magical energy. As he just like lands like a a vicious punch to her stomach. So, you know, just sending her flying as she hits the uh, ceiling. And as she's, like, falling to the ground, he just uh, jumps up in the air and hits her with a freaking spinning axe kick to her stomach, sending her flying down. And as she's flying down, Ryuji just takes his sword and just cleaves her in half. Yeah, just cleaves her in half to the point to where that, you know, she just can't move no more. And what that's going on, Ryuji, he's just like cutting over and over and over and over and over again. He don't give a damn. He's slicing her up. And as she keeps trying to regenerate, freaking Issei is just landing blows as well as Ryuji's like cutting. And it just gets so bad. That her healing factor can't even regenerate the amount of cells that they are destroying up to this point. As she's just laid there on the ground. Beat the hell up. And she's like, she just like goes back to her Yuma form. As a Rias, Akana, they show up. And so, they just looking at her. As you know, Issei, he comes up if he like. Pulls Azia down from the uh, crucifix. As you know, Ryuji, Issei, they looking like sad and stuff. And as that is, you know, happening and stuff. Ryuji, with his blade, he just looks at Yuma with just absolute hatred in his eyes. As he just like takes his blade, because she tried to like run, like, like, step on her leg so she can't move and just impales her in her back. Like, kind of, like, stopping her from moving because, you know, yeah, there's, like, a big blade in her back now. And she just, like, just all these, what well, he thinks is just dead now. And so, as that is going on, um, well, as that's going on, Rias, you know, you know, Issa, he's just, like, begging her, you know? Like, begging her to, like, bring Asia back. And, like, is there any way that you can bring Asia back? And so, seeing, like, how hard Issa and Ryuji went for this girl, she must be, like, that good. Like, she has to be, like, a good cause for them to be going this hard for her. So, Rias, you know, she is, like, all right, all right, I'll revive her. But she's y'all responsibility. As, you know, Issa, he nods. As Rias essentially revives Azia. But they essentially put the, uh, a piece in her. Essentially kind of making her a devil now. Yeah, making her a devil now. But hey. She does, like, wake up. And when she's wake up, you know, she's like, Issa... You know, Ryuji, is there, she like talking a bit weak because, you know, 
she was just dead. And so, you know, Issei, Ryuji, they're like hugging her, crying and shit, you know. And she's like, well, what's going on? What happened? As uh, Issei's like, don't worry about that. You, you, you're just safe now. You're back. So, you know, she's like smiling, crying as well. As she's like hugging them. And as that's like going on, um, you just hear like a Yuma still alive somehow groaning in the background as a Mayuji he just turns her back around and looks at her as he like takes his sword he's just like surprised by how she's still alive and so as that is going on like the sword is still like like he was about to like just pull out his sword but his sword starts like glowing blue like an intense blue yeah uh, like Rainer just like gets cast in this like this aura of just blue color and as the like he like dies down the sword that was once in uh in Rainer's chest is now in her hand as essentially her appearance just changes her appearance changed you know she her skin is now paler. Her hair is more in a in a down look, has a more cleaner look. And the main thing that's different is that her eyes, she now has yellow eyes that are slitted. And she's now wearing like a uh, like a white outfit. And the main thing that is different is her wings. She no longer has angel wings. She has devil wings which she just hands Ryuji back his sword it's like here you go master I'm here to serve you as the room kind of goes quiet as Ryuji Konako Azia Issei Rias Akano everyone is just silent as they all just hit a what and I'm going to end it right there. <laughs> Tell me what you think. If you like it, hey, like. If you don't like it, well, you know where to shove it. But anyway, hope you enjoy. You got any recommendations, just leave it in the comments. And anyway, I'm out.